Tropical storm Debbie's flooding. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp has extended the state of emergency for the entire state. The order originally went into effect August 3rd. It will now expire August 20th. The resources from the order will help with response efforts for all counties in the state. That includes some of the hardest hit areas like in Chatham and Bryan County. Today, federal emergency leaders were out assessing damage to see how much money would be needed to shell out in order to help residents who have been impacted by the storm. It all comes amid growing concerns over FEMA's disaster fund running out of money. Our Flint Snyder is live in Richmond Hill and Flint. All eyes are now on what help will be coming from the federal government. Yeah, Mike Don, good evening. We're about, what, a week removed from this storm, and it's still crazy that we're talking about flooded roads here. We're in Richmond Hill tonight. This is Rushing Street behind me. You can see several inches of water still remain. People still having to use boats to get to their homes in spots. These damage assessments that are going on right now are a crucial part in the process to determining if the damage we're seeing across our area meets the threshold, is uh, expensive enough, uh, in other words, to uh, qualify for federal disaster relief. FEMA teams are scattered throughout Bryan, Chatham, Effingham, Bullock, and Scriven counties, assessing damage from Debbie's floodwaters. It's a key step toward getting possible federal relief aid for flood victims. They will see what we've been telling them the damage is. They will then report back to their FEMA administrator. If the assessed damage is deemed eligible for federal help, Georgia's emergency management agency says Governor Kemp will send a letter to President Biden. At that point, federal assistance may become available in either individual or public relief. It's just a waiting game. It's where that aid will come from that has some concern. FEMA says its disaster relief fund has run out of money now only being used for life-saving and life-sustaining activities. We are getting toward the end of the fiscal year, and this normally does happen. Georgia Congressman Buddy Carter says Congress is expected to take up FEMA funding when lawmakers return next month. He notes that this was a measure lawmakers did not vote on before going into recess, but does not think it will cause a delay in potential aid for flood victims. And in this case, we are going to have to have some supplemental funding in order to get FEMA through. In the meantime, Bryan County leaders have this advice for flood weary residents as the damage assessment process plays out. Document your damages, take pictures, because when it comes down to it, if we are, do get the natural disaster declaration, we can enter that into that system to get more assistance from, uh, from FEMA. Yeah, it's similar to the move that uh, Georgia Governor Brian Kent made in extending Georgia's state of emergency today. Bryan County leaders have also extended the state of local emergency in an effort to more easily move resources to impacted areas. We're live in Richmond Hill, Flint Snyder, WTOC News.